the transfer portal is open. And just like the 10 women on this list, let's get right into it. It only makes sense that we start with Georgia Amore, seeing as how she already found a new home. She'll be landing in Kentucky, leaving Virginia Tech with her coach Kenny Brooks in her final season of eligibility, which only makes sense that she would want to play for her coach that she's known this whole time instead of playing under a new coach for her very last season. Last season, she averaged 18.8 points, 6.8 assists. I mean, so you can understand why he would want to take a point guard that he can trust with him over to Kentucky instead of just starting fresh. Now, while Georgia is following her coach into the transfer portal, there's a lot of players whose entire team is transferring out of the Pac-12. One of those teams is Oregon State. Tamia Gardner is out of there. She transferred, well, she entered the transfer portal. She hasn't found a landing place yet. Last season, she averaged 11.6 points, 7 rebounds. Her and Reagan Beers made up a really nice force down low. Um, she's a sophomore, so it's interesting to see where she'll land and finish out the rest of her career. A great physical presence at 6'3", and shooting the three-pointer at 39%, almost 40%. So, pretty nice addition to any team that she lands on. Another 6'3", stretch four, whose team is leaving the Pac-12 next season, Grace Van Sluten. She's leaving Oregon, averaging 15 points and 7.1 rebounds last season. She's a sophomore with still room to develop, with more room to develop, I should say. Um, a lot of great pickups in the transfer portal, honestly. It'd be interesting to see if, if they all end up on top teams or, or how this pans out. I know there's some teams with some really good recruiting classes who, if they add to it with these transfers, I mean, we could pretty much just hang it up. All right, then we have Talia Scott. She's transferring out of Arkansas. She was a bucket last season. A freshman, 22 points and three rebounds a game. Still needs some work on a three-pointer. So, I mean, if you can only imagine that if she gets that together, what kind of threat she would truly be. She was only shooting 29.5% from three last season. So, I mean, any marginal growth there. And yeah, somebody's getting an absolute killer on the perimeter. Almost an identical story to Talia Scott is Olsen, Lucy Olsen. She's leaving Villanova. 5'9", averaged 23 points last season. Struggled from three, only shooting 29%. Like I said, almost the exact same story. She was only behind Caitlin Clark and Juju in scoring. It makes me wonder, would you rather have the junior, who has a little bit more experience, or the freshman who has more potential to grow, if they have the exact same like shooting numbers and scoring averages and everything like that? Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Would you rather have the freshman or the junior? Well, the sophomore or the senior next season. All right, Deja Kelly, senior guard, leaving North Carolina. Average 16 points, 3.9 rebounds, and 3.2 assists last season. Her fifth year, and who knows? Good look, get a look at the WNBA like she's always projected to have been. And we'll see where she lands, who she ends up with. Layla Felia is another player looking to transfer and see if she can recapture some of that shooting touch that she had in previous seasons. Her three-point percentage dropped from nine, or dropped from 41% to 32%, so a nine-point difference there. Uh, she was averaging 16.8 points and 3.6 rebounds, even despite the drop last season, so we'll see where she lands. If she can get back up to 41%, she'll definitely be a great contributor for any team. Uh, junior wing, like I said, so experienced ready to contribute right away all of these women have until may 1st to make their decisions so we'll keep our eyes peeled 6-2 senior four liza carlin's leaving marquette last season she averaged 17.7 points 7.9 rebounds we'll give her eight because we're not petty 17.7 points and eight rebounds um be interesting to see where she goes nice leader hate to see her go but it is what it is marquette couldn't get it done she needs to highlight herself i understand Shot 49.7% from the field, shot 35.7% from the three-point line, and 82% from the free throw, so very efficient score. Yeah, man, I hate to see you go. 1.2 blocks, that was tough. That was tough. I wonder where she stay in the Big East. I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it, but we'll see. Now nah, this one hurts. I saw a few of her games last season and she was not playing around. The Yatsu King from Pittsburgh, she's out of there. 18.7 points, 10.3 rebounds, and she's taking every last bit of that with her. Uh, this is, I mean, this is all interior work. This is all interior work, nothing from the three-point line. That's not what she does, but what she does, she does well. 
All right, and then we have two players transferring out of LSU, led by Kim Mulkey, um, Angelica Velez, a highly touted freshman. We never really got to see much of her on the floor, so you know her stats weren't really relevant because she didn't really get a chance to get out there and show what she can really do. And then Haley Van Lith, who left Louisville, who was a star in Louisville, projected to head towards the NBA, WNBA, excuse me. And um, just we we saw we all saw what happened last season. Um, she was put in a different role as point guard from shooting guard. Wasn't really put in the best position to handle that role, or at least she wasn't well equipped to handle that role. One of the two, and definitely wasn't put in the best position to succeed against Caitlin Clark in that very last game of the season that we saw her in. So she got out of there. I don't blame her for at all because if i saw my point totals just dip that way and my projections just dip that way i would probably head out too i'm not blaming lsu for that it just wasn't a great fit but we'll see where she lands a lot of people are interested to see if she can reclaim that touch that she had over in louisville because to go from where she was to where she is now that that would be criminal to see her career kind of go out that way so thoughts and prayers to all involved I will for sure be back with updates as players find landing places. Hopefully they land with teams that I root for. <laughs> no, really, hopefully they land with teams that can best exhibit their talents, best use their talents, and they don't just sit on the bench or, you know, get put into the wrong roles. It's always a gamble when you transfer. The grass isn't always greener. So some, some players will be transferring to teams that they'll be doing worse on next season, as we saw this year. So that's always an interesting twist that we'll keep an eye on. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, subscribe. Let me know that you made it to the end. If you have any thoughts and comments on where players will land, make sure you share those with me. And, you know, we can chop it up in the comments. Until the next one, see you then.